let's have a look at the question the pie chart shows the expenditure incurred on the manufacturing of a calculator under various heads study the following pie chart carefully and answer the questions below the mark price of a calculator is 24 percentage more than its cost price if the mark price of a calculator is 186 then what is the cost of r and d used in a single unit of calculator so here they have told this pie chart is nothing but the expenditure incurred on the manufacturing of a calculator can you see this is talking about a cost price the cost incurred is nothing but this pie chart and what is the total percentage of course it is nothing but 100 percentage the total pie chart is talking about 100 percentage now they are told the mark price of a calculator is 24 percentage more than its cost price then can you say mark price equals to 24 percentage more 124 can you say 124 percentage and if the mark price of the calculator is 186 so if you could take it out i can say 186 rupees is nothing but 124 percentage then what is the cost of r and d r and d is nothing but 20 percentage they're asking what is 20 percentage yes you can try going out with estimation i'll divide this by six Dividing 124 by 6, I'll get it as 20.66 percentage, which is equals to dividing this by 6, you'll get it as 31 rupees. Now look here, we have got 20.66 percentage as 31 rupees. So if you are going to look into just 20 percentage, I can say the value will be a little bit less than 31, which is nothing but 30 rupees. Let's move on with the next question. If the machinery charges of a single unit is 58.5 rupees, machinery charges, 22.5 percentage. The total 22.5 percentage is going to be 58.5 rupees. And the total the market price is 30 percent more than the cost price. Cost price is 100 percentage. They're asking what is the mark price of the calculator? This is machinery cost. Okay, MP and that is machinery. Yes, here we need to find out the answer. Now, how can we estimate it? Of course, we'll not try going out with the uh, cross multiplication because cross multiplication says multiply 130 with 585 divided by 22.5. 22.5. So you can ignore that dots and you can take it as 130 to 585 divided by 225. So you can try going out with this, but it will take a long time. Estimation will help us. Here we have got 22.5 percentage. Okay, 22.5 percentage is nothing but 58.5. I need 30, 130 percentage. So what I'll do is I'll try increasing the value. Double of 22.5 is going to be 45 percentage. What is 45? 45 percentage is nothing but 58.5 double, which is 117. So with this 45, now it's a whole number. We'll try to increase it. 45 two times is 90. 45 three times is 135. Yes, I'll try finding out 135 percentage. How? By multiplying by 3. So which will give out 300. So 73 times is 51. We got to know 135 percentage is 351. The value of 130 percentage should be less than 351. Yes, we have got only one answer which is less than 351. That is 338. Yes, what if? Yes, few people might be having doubt, right? What if? The value is one more value we have got that is 340. And you have to go out with fine approximation. Yes, 4.45 percentage is 117. Can I say 4.5 percentage is going to be 11.7? Yes, if you're going to subtract this, you will get 130.5 percentage, which is nothing but 351 minus 11.5, which gives 339.3. This is for what? 130 percentage, 130.5. Now the value is slightly less than 339. So again, I can say the answer is 338. Getting it? This is normal approximation. This is fine approximation. If you want fine approximation, you can do a few more approximation steps and you are going to get the answers here. Thanks for watching and for more updates on similar videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.